We have three categories of design patterns – creational, structural, and behavioral. Creational design patterns are used to create objects or instantiate classes. It is a good practice to hide the code that creates object in a separated class. It will make your life easier. When you hide object creation inside a class, you have more flexibility to decide what object to create. Using the new operator everywhere makes object management harder to do. If you constantly ask yourself, where did I create this object, then that's a good way to identify places to use creational design patterns. We can divide creational design patterns into two subcategories – class and object creational design patterns. Class uses inheritance and object uses polymorphism. Inheritance is considered a bad practice, instead you should go with polymorphism and objects. After all, we are doing object-oriented programming, not class-oriented programming in case that is a thing. Of course, you cannot avoid inheritance 100%, it has its usage. We will see why inheritance is bad in this course. Structural design patterns provide you with tools that you can use to extend the functionality of a class without breaking things. We will actually have a very nice example that solves the Airbnb problem. Behavioral design patterns are used for communication between objects. I know that at this point none of this makes sense, theory is just theory. Let's set up the project and start using design patterns.